So you're probably wondering what old farts are doing sitting on the floor with a couple of boxes in front of them. Well, this is my new speakers from Dayton Audio called Epic. And it's a kit and it came in two boxes. And we're going to have a look and see what's inside of them. Let's first of all, let's look at the boxes. This one, the big box for a change, arrived intact. UPS didn't penetrate it or wreck it or drop it or anything. Over the little box, looks like it's been dropped at least one, two, three, and then a big four, four times here. So we don't know what's going to ha happen with our drivers because the drivers are in here and everything else is in there. So we'll look at that last. We'll do the fun stuff first. So we're going to reveal what's in the box through an unboxing. I have my sharp knife. And it comes down. Oh, the whole length. This is about five feet long, I guess. There. And there. And we open it up. And we have another box. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we take and we open that up. I'm not being too careful slicing because I don't think there's anything of value in there. And here we go. Oops. Opening that up. Maybe you can get a shot down from the top of the box. So that's what it looks like when you first open the box. We have instructions and little rubber pads that go between the speakers. Can't lose those. Now we have to take everything out because we have to take an inventory to make sure that everything arrived intact because Dayton Audio wants to know within five days that the shipping isn't complete or is damaged in some way. So we'll see if we can figure out how to do that. Well, this all comes out of, as one unit here. That's interesting. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> So we'll have throw some more stuff away here. And then these are the end pieces that protect our cabinets. These are very well packed. And yeah, I'm going to get the other side here. You actually have to slide them out of the packing material. They're so well packed. Here we go. So here's one of our speaker units. See it's curved and very interesting. It's only 24 speakers in each unit. And when I was looking at them in the catalog, I thought they looked a little wonky. They're just a, a little tight. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm a woodworker too, so I'm gonna radius these edges. We'll see, I'll think about that some more before I actually do the finishing. So we'll put these aside. And see what else is in the box. I see all kinds of stuff in here. I lost my knife. Where it is. Okay. 
first of all, we have something heavy here. Let us see what is heavy. You can zoom in on my hands now. And what is this? Oh, these are the cups for the speakers. Well, your contacts and screws. Looky there. And more screws. And what else? The Epic signature nameplates. And it looks like that's. Oh, there's the feet. There are two. There's four, four of the feet. So that's what's in that box. We have those. Okay, what else do we have here? Whoa! <laughs> oh, I know what this is. You're like a little kid at Christmas. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> okay, this is your wiring harness. And I'll spread one of them out, so we're going to try to spread one of them out. They might be too tangled up to figure out what the hell's going on. Yeah. So anyway, this is your wiring harness, which means you don't have to do any soldering at all when you put the, the, the unit together. So that's fun. Very, looks like it's very well made. I'll put those aside. And what else do we... Oh, I know what these are. These are the bases. Well, wherever I put my knife down... And you're asking how far away from the wall these are going to be. And the back of the bases can be almost up against the wall. And get the plastic off. And I'll magically bring it up. So that's what the base it looks like. It sits on the floor like that. And again, I think I'm going to round the edges and on this just to make it look a little cooler. Very heavy, so it should support things at all. Let's get that back in there. Push it off to the side. I don't think there's any need in unwrapping the other one. We know what's there. Good, so that's what's in the big box. Now, we're going to take and open up the little box and see exactly how much damage has been done. I lost my strap. Oh. <laughs> you mustn't lose your strap when you're on television. <laughs> all 48 of them. <laughs> so let's check the damage box. There's one damage box here. Okay, and you can get to see the driver run too. And they don't want to come out. Why is that? You have to take the whole box apart to get them out. That's easy enough to do. Okay, we'll take it out just so you can see it on camera. Looks like it's packed really well, so I don't think there's going to be any, any damage to it. And that's 
the driver. You can see the size of it and the hookup. So, 24 of those in each speaker. <laughs> Full range drivers. And it's going to be very interesting. So, I'm going to look at the rest of them. Because I have to make sure, first of all, there's 48 there, and second of all, that none of them are wrecked. So, uh, if I need to come back, I will, and, and talk about how crappy UPS is because they wreck something. Otherwise, I'll see you in the construction video.